the Supreme Court has agreed to grant protection to Trinamool MP Abhishek Banerjee and his wife Rujira in the coal smuggling case. The top court also allowed her to be questioned in Kolkata, West Bengal. Moreover, it agreed to examine the legal issue of whether such protection can be extended only to women or extended to all persons. Reed Coal Smuggling Case TMC MP Abhishek Banerjee did not cooperate during ed questioning, see sources a notice in this regard has been issued to the Enforcement Directorate and the Ministry of Home Affairs. The ed summoned Abhishek Banerjee and his wife Rujira to appear for questioning at its Delhi office on March 21 and 22. Banerjee and his wife had earlier moved the Delhi High Court against the Ed's summons, but the court refused to grant them any relief. The parliamentarian has repeatedly stated that the Ed should question him and his wife in Kolkata and not in Delhi. Watch, who is Rujira and why is she under CBI lens? A bailable warrant was issued later when Rujira failed to appear in Delhi for questioning by Ed. Justice U Lalit told the central agency, we will give protection to the man, Abhishek Banerjee, also. In case you want to interrogate you have to give a 24-hour notice. The SC, at the same time, warned Abhishek Banerjee that there should be no protest or vandalism in case he is called for questioning. If any hooliganism takes place, we will withdraw the protection, the court said. During its probe, we had allegedly discovered that two companies, Leaps and Bound PVT Limited and Leaps and Bound Management Services LLP, with links to Abhishek Banerjee and his family received protection funds amounting to 4.37 crore rupees from a construction company via the accused in the alleged coal smuggling case, sources told India Today. Abhishek Banerjee's father Amit Banerjee is allegedly one of the directors of Leaps and Bound PVT Limited. His wife Rujira Banerjee is reportedly a director of Leap and Bound Management Services Limited along with his father. The two companies were receiving funds from business owners in order to avoid local-level syndicate issues, officials said.